Come back. So today, Hi guys. I'm talking about chess. How to play chess. And chess, it's a lot of pieces and things like that. So we talk about a lot of the pieces and what they do and how many points they are. First, we'll start about the king. You mm -hmm. see the king over here? The king is a piece, has a little top here. So let's talk about the king. The king is the king can only move one square at a time at any direction, up, down, diagonally, or to the side. So what I mean by that is this the the king could be here. So it can only go to the side here, one, or if it's here, you can go here, mm -hmm. here, 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 here. Oh yeah. Okay. So it can go basically all sides. Yeah, all sides, but only one block. Mm -hmm. So, so the king doesn't is not anything. When you get the king in check, basically in check is when your king is um blocked and like, is um being targeted targeted and um and and there's nowhere for the king to go or he's gonna get attacked. So. Um, when that happens, you lose, and it's called checkmate. Um, so the next piece over here is the queen. The queen is the one of the most is the second most important piece, and the queen, um, the the queen can move any number of spaces in one straight direction, forwards, backwards, sideways, or diagonally. In this way, the queen can go. Not more than one block, but every single way, but more than one block. So you can go all the way to the side, or to the other side, or forward, back, diagonally, everywhere, just like the king, but in all the sides. And it and it's nine points. So when you let's say you attack it and you get the queen, you get nine points since all of them have points. The king's checkmate. The game is over. Yes, but it's not a point. Uh -huh. So here's that's the queen. The next one is the rook. The rook is like the rock. Uh, yes. The rook or the rock. <laughs> the rook. Mm -hmm. Rook. So it's a piece. It's like the a, basically a castle kind of like. Sure. It stays on the sides <coughs> and has these little pointy stuff up here, like a castle kind of mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. And this piece is um, it it can the rook may move any number of squares either forwards, backwards, or to the sides. So. It can go anywhere except diagonally. So it can only go forwards, backwards, left or right. Mm -hmm. Got it. And it can go any amount of spaces. And when you get the rock, you can only you get five points. Oh. So the next one is the bishop. The bishop is here. It has a pointy top over here. Um, it's kind of tall. And the bishop... The bishop can move any number of squares, but only diagonally. So just like the queen and the king, it can it can move only diagonally. So it can move um like in a diagonal space like this, backward or like this way, mm -hmm. in any amount of moves. And when you get the rook, you only get three points out of it. Bishop. Next, he, the bishop. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. The bishop. And mm -hmm. the next one is the knight. So this, the knight is the, one of the most complicated ones because mm -hmm. it moves in a weird way. So like mm -hmm. moves in a way that not the other pieces move. So the knight moves in a different way from all the other pieces, like I said. And moving in a shape of an L, so I'll show you now. Mm -hmm. It can move either two squares across or one square forward or back. Or it may move one square across or two squares forward or back. The knight may also move over any any other piece on the board. So I'll start of how the way it looks. So you could be starting at this little back piece over here and it can move to all the way here. So in an L shape. This piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So the uh, way you're okay. on, you only add you only turn in a way and go this way. Not only that you way. You can go the other way. You can go any other way. So you can go like one, two, three. Uh -huh. Or. But it's three, three movements. Yeah. So one, two, three. Uh -huh. Or. The other way. Some face. One, two, three. Or. 
One, two, three. So basically an L shape on any direction. Mm -hmm. And the second thing about it that's really cool, let's say the the bishop is here. Mm -hmm. And you wanna get over it, but you can't you know in normal other pieces you can't just go over the piece. But only the 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 knight can go over it. So when it's moving it can go one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So go over it in any way. The next piece is the pawn. So the pawn is this little tiny piece over here that's all in front. Mm -hmm. so it's, oh, these are all pawns? Yes, okay. all of them in front. Yeah. So the pawn um, can move forward but only captures diagonally. <laughs> Pawns can only move one square at a, at a time except for their very first move where they can move two squares if you choose. If a pawn success, successfully makes it to the right across the board, the player can the player may exchange it for any other piece they wish apart from the king. So the pawn is also one of the most um confusing one. But about the pawn, it can only move once forward, but except for when it's at the start. So the objective is what? To gain points or to eat people? Or I'll to tell you it? after the basics. Just uh -huh. the basics. So the pawn can only move one forward. So let's say here the pawn is there, as I always start off. It can only move one forward. Except... Any directions? Not only forward. Just okay. one forward. Just like the king, but only forward. Mm -hmm. So except for when you're at the start. At the start, you can move it twice over, oh. only at the start, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit of a bonus, mm -hmm. and that's what you can do okay. to help. So you can only move these three forward, and eventually, let's say you're moving, you're moving, you're moving. Let's say, let's say these pieces are not here because, you know, you're moving a lot, yeah. and the, the pawn gets all the way to the end. Yeah. And you can exchange it for um, um, any piece, like a queen. And let's say you already have a queen. What are you exchanging? Any piece you want. Let's say you lost a few pieces. You can always get that piece back. You can exchange the pawn with the other piece that you already lost. Like exchanging toys. Mm -hmm. Toys? Yeah, no, I'm just giving an example. Oh. So let's say you have a little ball a bouncy ball and you lost maybe your doll you can exchange maybe the ball for a doll that you used to have but that person is actually that yours or something like that i'll just you can exchange it so let's say you have your knight here and let's say you, the, the other person took took it so since so you got it there you can exchange your pawn for the knight or for any other piece um, so, oh, let me put these back, so that's where the pawn is, and also, let's say you are attacking, so a lot of people get confused because you only can move one forward, yeah. but the actual thing about when you're playing is that you can also move diagonally when uh -huh. you kill, so that's the part when people get confused, so let's say you have your knight here, and then your pieces here. So it's in a way that it can get killed diagonally mm -hmm. here. So if you you can't you can't kill if the a knight is here you can't kill forward mm -hmm. only in a diagonal spot. Mm -hmm. So the pawn can just kill just like that. Okay. Only when you have to kill. Uh -huh. That's the only thing, and that's all the pieces. So let's show you about how, how to play. How to play. But a little play, not too hard. So but if you no, if you can see it right here, I thought I was white. That's fine. I'll this is white. much more accurate. <laughs> so uh, my brother's here. Um, hello guys. Wow. Come, my I know it's been a while. Wow. So you can't see us, but you just see the board. And so now let's start. So white? I know this is weird. But white only starts. So Junior's gonna take it out from here. Have you forgotten? 
You're white. I know. So I mean, white only starts. So oh, that's yeah. a weird thing. So in chess, white only starts. No matter what. You know to show your face. <laughs> no matter what, white only starts. It's always white. You can't move black first, cause then that's first strike. And for strikes, you can say. For strikes, you only get three strikes. The first, um, let's say. Such a presenter voice. Yes. Oh. Let's, <laughs> let's say white hasn't moved and you start. That's your first strike. Mm -hmm. And then maybe white's in front and you decide to take white while you're, while you're there. That's mm -hmm. your second strike. Mm -hmm. This is just like speculation if it happens. And let's say you touch a piece and you put it down, but then you, des but then you decide to move it without saying... Um, without saying adjusting that means you get your third strike after three strikes it's all over you what's lose. over the game's over you oh. lose um so yeah well continue from here here's a simple game so we'll do simple and when you see anything we'll just talk about how that happens and like constantly checkmate and all those things and so if we'll put a few mistakes in there just to show you um um what could works. get you a strike so let me start. So let's say we start there. Okay, maybe I move here. Okay. Oh, oh no! I didn't. What, say what did you do? She oh. made a mistake. She, 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 the piece fell, but she didn't say adjusting when she put so it So each time the piece fell, falls, and then, but she have to say adjusting, because it seems like you're about to play that piece. And ah. you, it touches a goal. So yeah, it touches a goal. So anytime you touch any piece, you have to move that piece. Only if you really can't move it, like, let's say, two pawns are in front of each other. And you actually touch this piece, but you really can't have a chance of having to move that. So that's the only exception you have. Mm -hmm. But really, anything else touches a goal. You can go now. Okay, so I go Just next. Ah, so what did you do? Why did you do that? So now when so now we're starting to take pieces. We're starting to take pieces. So let's say, um, like for the bishop, they it moves diagonally. It moves diagonally, ah, as yes. we said before. Mm -hmm. So when you're killing, you kill diagonally. For all the other pieces, when you kill, you but it kill can move two, two, two spaces. As much space as much space as you want, except the the king and the pawn. So all the others can move as much as they want, uh -huh. except the, also the knight, because you can only move in an L shape. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah. So if you get an opportunity to attack, but then you, you must have a space, right? Mm -hmm. If there's a space here, it means you can. You don't need to have a space, but it's yeah. usually recommended because you don't want your piece get get your piece taken away. Okay, so I moved here, and that's how you get told. Mm -hmm. Now the knight is in a space to attack, so I can also go. Cause it's in an L shape. It's yeah. inside. So it's within the L, its, the L shape is there. Ah. One, one, two, three. I see. Okay. So, so now, now, so the bishop is always the one to attack first, basically. No, it, it no. Can move. I, any piece can attack first. It just depends no, on. No, no, not first. I'm saying it's it get it's it's important to attack the bishop because the bishop gives you a garden. With the bishop, you can move further. You can move all sides. Well, so you actually, can. It's like in a, a weapon. Actually, the most one that you want to take out first is the queen because it can move in any direction as much as it wants. Mm -hmm. mm. And also for the pieces to recap. Mm -hmm. This piece over here, the pawn, mm -hmm. it only, it, when you take it, you only get one point. Mm -hmm. Queen worth nine points, king worth the entire game. And, and also for the, for the uh, knight and the bishop, mm -hmm. for bishop. the bishop, it's three. three. So mm -hmm. both of them, um, it's for three. And then the rook is worth five points. Okay, we've got two minutes. Okay. So let's go. So I need... It's almost nine. It's my turn. Adjusting. Adjusting, adjusting. Go.
testing. Now, as you can see, Magama's piling up points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you get the, so no, when I'm you not get, being beaten. I so that when you purpose. when you get I this, I'm being serious. So you have the amount of pieces here. You still remember what each piece counts. So mm -hmm. we have two bishops here. One bishop is three. So you do some little mathematics here. <laughs> so three plus three equals six. Now we have also a a knight, and a knight is also worth three points. So mm -hmm. so that so three plus six equals nine. And then now we have two other pawns, and pawns only are one. So since you have two pawns. Um, nine plus two equals eleven. So there you go. So you have to do a bit of mathematics, yeah, but you can do it. <laughs> this one on so, my side, I only have one point. Yeah, you have three. Since three points. The bishop counts three. So not only think of the amount you have, because you can have a queen, and the other person can have a lot of pieces, but only count as eight. And you can have a queen, and the queen is nine. So you can actually have one piece and have more than the other person. So now we're moving into a more complicated part. And as you can see here, my king and my rook are have space between them. Now Magama Mini? needs to move next. Mm -hmm. Mini? You'll see why next. Now you're allowed to do a move called castling. This is where a rook and a king exchange spaces on the board. So then you know, this is the only... Um, you're not allowed to use two hands with this one. Oh, you Don't, get a strike. Oh, you get a strike. You oh. have to use one hand. Wow. You almost got a strike. I that know. is so silly. I know. Yeah, but it. But it, it's all, the, the rules even, are the rules. Even when you're playing chess, you're not allowed to use both hands. It's just a rule. Just like why one plus one is two, because it just is. Mm -hmm. So, so when mostly if you like playing with both hands, just sometimes try and sit on your hand or put it somewhere away. So you can use one hand for one play next time you use a right, next time mm -hmm. you use a left. You don't use whatever hand you Ah, use. Yep. is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. but always use the hand you're good with. So, mm -hmm. after junior went, and this is usually a defensive move to keep your king protected from any danger. Yes. Because in this place, the only piece that can attack it is the knight and right. the bishop. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Finish the game. So, I'll go. Let me check my <clears throat> okay. 